Another way to advance sidestepping and cross-stepping is to practice braiding. In braiding, uh, the therapist will be behind the patient, and there are alternate ways you will do later. And uh, just like resisted progression, we could apply it with approximation, with resistance, or with quick stretch, uh, the hand placement on the pelvis. So uh, let's start with uh, resistance. Um, just like sidestep, I want you to shift your weight to the right, and I resist, okay? Now, uh, take a step with the left leg to the side, and I resist on the pelvis, okay? Now, next, he will make a cross step. So, cross step with the right, okay? And here, I resist on the pelvis anteriorly, and if you notice, the leg placement is almost similar to D1 flexion. Okay, next, I want you to take a step with the left leg. Okay, and now we unlocked the legs. Now, the next step will be a backward cross step with the right leg. So, cross step to the right. Okay, and here the resistance again is on the pelvis and the position of the leg is almost similar to D2 extension. This is braiding. Okay, so it sounds great. Um, I did it now with resistance. Uh, other ways to do it, and actually before even applying the yeah, resistance or the approximation, we could train the patient to do it if they are facing difficulty to begin with. Uh, with uh, light support from the therapist. So, stand straight to me, okay? And uh, we could have the therapist place their hands uh, to support the patient, just like touch, just like modified plantar gaze. Or, to advance it a little bit, we could use a dowel where the patient is holding it, and this is just to provide light touch support, and the therapist also holds onto it. And now we'll do breathing in this direction. Okay, so, uh, take a step with your leg, side step. Okay, and now another cross step forward. Okay, good. Now another side step, unlock the legs, and a step backward, cross. Okay, and we keep going like this. Once the patient masters this, we could apply resistance and approximation or quick stretch.